Pia, you drew with who you fan. A very exciting game. Are you satisfied with the result? Yes, I'm very, very satisfied. I played with the Jifan many times and I have lost many, many times in some draws and I, I won one blitz game, but it has been normally tough for me and I was playing with black also. No, I was very happy also because I thought the opening was fine, but then I, I miscalculated, I underestimated her attack, and then I just thought I was lost. But then I find this idea, King F8, to keep the game going. And I don't know if she had something winning there or something very good for her. But the way it went, it was, it was fine for me. Hmm. It seemed a position where there were a lot of dynamic opportunities for both of you. Were you ever afraid at any point that this could be worse? Yes, no, I was very afraid when she played Queen H3. So I guess E4 was probably a mistake. I needed to go castling. I needed to develop my, my, my pieces and put the king away. And she takes Rook AE8, Bishop C3, and maybe take an E5. Th this is what I needed to do. And I, may maybe it's, it's, it's unclear or something. But the way I played, it was just very, very dangerous for me. Dangerous but interesting, just like we love it. Now tell me one thing, were you surprised with Yufan's choice of in the Sicilian to capture Queen D4 instead of the usual Knight D4? No, I wasn't because she has played it before. She played lots of different things. And okay, Queen take D4 is one of them. Mainly she maybe takes with a knight, but, but no, I wasn't surprised. Mm. With a player like Yufan who has such a wide repertoire and it's, it's, it's a challenge to prepare against her. Yes, but it's also very nice to get the chance to play with her. So in one way I was just very pleased and I'm also very pleased when I can um, find some fine moves, some ideas. And uh, no, so it was, uh, no, it was very, very exciting, but I'm very happy also. Right, now Pia, I know that you and Yufan are also very good friends, uh, very, very good friends. So it's kind of like a little nerve wracking to play against. It's not the same, you know, when you're playing against a friend. So how do you deal with that when you have to sort of fight each other on the board? Yes, no, actually, I normally like to play against friends. I don't mind that because, you know, you're friends and then you, play at the board and you know it will be a long, very hard, a long, I don't know, but it will be a hard struggle. So no, I don't mind that at all. Hmm. And then when it's over, you just go back to being friends? Hmm, of course. Hmm. Right now, Pia, you are someone who has been at the chess festival since its very first edition. You've been coming here for 15 years. Yeah. This festival is like a tradition for you and your family. Yeah. What? How have you made this your home? What is it that you love about it so much? Yes, no, it's the tournament is just fantastic. For me, it's the, it's the best tournament of the year. It's really, really wonderful. So many people coming here, everyone enjoying it, and we enjoy it also very much. And we have seen the, okay, the whole family of us, we have seen the tournament grow and become better and better every year. So no, it's just, just fantastic to be here every year. Mm. That actually gets me to my next question that, uh, because you've been here from the very start and now we are in the 15th year of the Trade by Gibraltar Chess Festival, how has the tournament evolved in your house eyes? How has it changed over the years? It, uh, it has become, of course, much stronger and much bigger. The first year when we played, it was about, I think it was about 50 players. There were not very many women players, there were very few. I think we actually only were two, or, but very few. So, it, uh, so, of course, it has been a big change. But it's very nice to see the tournament growing and becoming better. Also, all the ladies coming. And I think that's really very nice what Brian is doing. It's very, very important to support women chess because tournaments are so much nicer than when you have women who play. But you need to support women because otherwise they cannot keep on playing. They cannot be professional players. Mm. Right, you're absolutely right about that, Pia. And we ab love having you, Anna, and your husband here. The, tournaments, the tournament cannot be complete without the three of you. Thank you very much. All the best for the remaining rounds. Thank you so much.